Okay, here we are at Dr. Guevara's office, and he's a pediatrician. And what he's done is he started an aesthetic practice, a pediatrician with an aesthetic practice. It grew, now it's 80%. Let's walk through his office. This guy's a leader in his field. If you look in this room, he's bought a Vizia from us at the doctor's toy store. Uh, which is a face enhancer, shows you before and after. He bought a mid-mark power chair. Let's walk down a little further here. Walk over here, and you see probably one of the nicest offices I've ever seen for a pediatrician. He's located in, in uh, Key Biscayne, Florida. He bought the table from us, the RF from us. Uh, I don't think he bought the center on from us. But let's walk through the rest of his office and see what he has. Most pediatricians would never do this, but it's, it's enabled him to start a great business and a great cash business. Here he's got uh, Lumamax in another room. Um, remember, we're talking about a pediatrician. A pediatrician, what kind of a pediatrician? He's successful. Uh, he just bought and we delivered this right over here, which is an LED light he bought from the doctor's toy store. And this is his office. It's probably the nicest office I've ever been in. Okay, as we walk out here a little bit further, you'll see he's got a dermapod. Um, in this room, he's got a Candela Gentlemax, which he also bought a, a power chair. Keep in mind, this is a pediatrician. Probably the, the top as far as the leader as far as pediatricians because reimbursement's getting cut. Let's go out to the front. From here, we'll introduce you to Dr. Guevara in one minute. I'm Rob, and this is Dr. Guevara with Pediscane uh, Pediatrics. He's a pediatrician, and we're going to walk through. He's going to give us a quick tour of his pediatric practice. There's a lot of patients here in the waiting room. Okay, we're going to go through a little tour right now with Dr. Guevara. We'll go, we'll go take a look at our x-ray facilities and our laboratory also. Here's, here's the blood drawing room. They bought the monitor from the doctor's toy store, the stool. He's got an audiometer, tamponometer, everything a pediatrician should have so far. It's a beautiful office. The decorations are incredible, too. This is our... This is one of the things that really saves time for the patients when they uh, come in. Rather than sending them off to the hospital with a prescription pad, we come in here, we do our technicians do our own uh, x-rays. We're able to interpret them immediately and we have a quick result for the family um, and it just really makes the time and the waiting time of the patient a lot less and we're able to, offer, able to offer a lot better care that way. Smart. We wish every guy was like him. Over here, here's his lab. He's got a CBC machine. Um, Remember your analysis? Uh, test. Your analysis, Clinitech. Um, looks like he's even got uh, little walkie-talkies for the employers that communicate from his cosmetic surgery practice. Not surgery, I should say, but his, his Botox, aesthetics, his yeah. aesthetics from his pediatrician. This is this is a leader in his field. Trust me, that's why I came to his office and we're not cruising around here. Where are we going next? Let's keep going our way so okay. we get some of the exam rooms. Yeah. yeah. And the image is everything. The, image, the office is beautiful. You come here and the, the rest of our the rest of our staff as they as they continue to discuss uh, patients. We have a, we have our nurses, our medical assistants, our other physicians, and this is a centralized uh, nurse station's office where we're able to direct basically all eight exam rooms uh, and patient care. We're able to discuss it here and attend to the patients right away. Oh, look, 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 at, look, at, look at the uh, look at the drawings. Look at the image. He's got it's just a very nice office. One of the nicest offices I've ever been in. Let's look at the exam room here. All of our all of our exam rooms are completely self-sufficient. They uh, the patients are come into the office into the consultation rooms, and our entire staff is what actually revolves around the patients. The patients never have to leave here to go from one station to the other. So if a kid comes in, they say it's a baby. The baby gets weighed, measured, put on the growth charts here. The doctor comes in, we take care of the baby. Then once the orders are given, then the nurses come in and we'll take care of everything that needs to get done so that baby when they get when they dress up the child able to go straight out and uh, schedule their follow-up appointments when we did this uh, you can see everything is basically modern we did everything to minimize uh, risk of uh, infection 
contagious agents or anything like that. So we've cleaned everything, we've prepared everything, and as you can see, it's spacious, roomy, and uh, this is the way, if you really want to take care of, of, of kids, this is the way to go. Okay, the question I want to ask him, how, how did you get into the cosmetics, being a pediatrician, what made you think, or how did you get into that what was your idea? Absolutely. The, the idea was oh, actually... Oh, do you want to speak into the microphone? <laughs> one, of, one of our Welsh Island uh, uh, autoscopes. Yes, you yeah. got from us, nice. From you guys, absolutely. But um, but the idea actually came around where even even some of the moms recommended it. We've we've done through the years. We did a lot of suturing, and we did a lot of uh, procedures that took care of kids to minimize scarring from injuries and everything. So along the way, the moms actually came to me and said, you know, since you do all of this stuff, you know, have you ever been interested in doing anything aesthetic-wise for the women? Because we, you know, have to go elsewhere, and it would be great to be able to just come to you also and have you take care of us. And um, so the training started, and once I started getting trained in one particular procedure, then that led to another one, and that led to another one, and then, and then in comparison and seeing what is being done out there, uh, I said, you know, there's no reason why I can't do that or even better than that. And so the idea was originated, and and it's just grown ever since. And besides, the reimbursements were going down, down, and down. In pediatrics, every single every single month is a constant struggle. Um, so it was a nice way of actually creating. Maintaining, really taking care of the entire family and creating a nice cash flow uh, from some of the aesthetic uh, patients. So now it's wonderful because now the moms come in with the kids and on the way out they usually make an appointment to see me uh, to take care of themselves. So there's no reason any pediatrician needs to complain. They just need to go forward and 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 try something and you've been very successful at it. And I don't know what he drives, but that's a, a Ferrari or a Bentley or something. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but um, very successful guy. We, we wanted to come down here just to, to let pediatricians know that, you know what, uh, you don't have to jump off that bridge. You know, you put the razor blade down. Um, there's successful doctors out there doing very well and he's one of them. So anyways, we appreciate your time and everything and thanks for letting us come down thanks. here. and. and I've, I've, you, you amaze me. I've owned the Doctor's Toy Store for, for 11 years, and uh, this guy's a leader. So, you know, he's down here in Key Biscayne, Florida. If anyone has any kids they want to bring here, or if the moms are here and they want cosmetic procedures done, he's got it all. And what's your address and phone number, if it's okay? Absolutely. We're at uh, 240 Crandon Boulevard. We're in Suite 212, and our office phone number is 305-361-6232. Guys, a thumbs up. I've been here. He's got top quality everything. So thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.